Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Today, we are heading into the fourth world, Tranquility Falls in the year 1402. With the first level, give it a spin. We're playing as Coco today. We've already checked out this costume, so we might want to take a look at another one. We have the Rocket Head here, which we got a few worlds ago. There's still some other stuff I'm missing, I guess. Actually, I don't know where that's from. I thought that we have collected everything so far, but maybe there's still some stuff that I'm missing out on, or maybe more levels will pop up again in the future, just like I did with Tana. That's probably what the case is gonna be. By the way, we'll do the rocket skin, the rocket head skin for right now, um, and do the level, give it a spin. We do have a tape to unlock in this one, so we're gonna have to try really hard not to die until we run into it. But yeah, this one's really cool. It has sort of like a, uh, like an ancient feel to it, being in the 1400s, you'd think that, so that was a very long time ago. But yeah, it looks so cool. I can already see some like pink lotus trees, maybe? Didn't get a too good of a look at them, so I can't know for sure, but I love this aesthetic. But I guess we'll just have to hop in. I do love the consistent theming a lot more than how it was in Crash 3 so far. They've done a really good job with that. Oh. I love it. So cool looking. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Yikes. You okay, buddy? So where's the next mask? Not here. If these chuckle nuts weren't punching holes in reality, we could open our own rifts. Ah. For now, we're stuck taking the long route. But I sense another rift around here somewhere. Watch out! Ah. Friends, uh. I have a fun little game for you to play. I've got a reward for the clever bandicoots who can reach my testing grounds. But you'll have to defeat my deadly diabolical creations along the way. <laughs> Oh boy. So yeah, Embryo is back. He was not in Crash 3 at all, but here he is in Crash 4, so that's pretty cool. Whoa, and here's our new mask. R2 or Triangle to do the Dark Matter spin. Look at us. Whoa. So there we go, that's our new ability with this mask, and it can break through the ones that we would normally have to slam through, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, Embryo was not in Crash 3, and in Crash 2 he was, whoa. Oh, can I use this to get, Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Hold on, we gotta restart the level then because I gotta get that tape. <laughs> but I do wanna try that real quickly. If we just go across like this. That's the wrong button too, I am so clumsy. <laughs> but yeah, Embryo was actually Cortex's enemy in Crash 2 and if you got 100%, you could see the secret ending where um, Embryo destroys Cortex's ship. So it's interesting that they're working together again without too much of a contention there. But either way, it'll be cool to take him on later in today's episode. For right now, I gotta give this level another try. Okay, so let's try this again. You can just start spinning and you get a lot more hang time. I was sort of curious about that because most of the controls are pretty similar to how they were in the Crash 2 and 3, especially Crash 3. But one thing I did notice is that when you spin, you don't get any extra hang time. I guess this is why. But yeah, how many crates we have? 212 crates this is the first level we have with over 200 crates to get. It's gonna be a challenge, I'm sure. But I will give it my best shot. That's super weird. I, I definitely gotta get used to that. Dark matter spin. Okay, so we probably wanna start spinning first then. Gotcha. I don't know what's with those cute little guys in the background, but I love them. Caution, dark matter spin detonates TNT as you'd expect. So we don't want a dark matter spin on that, but whoa. While, what have been up to? Oh, me, mostly the same. Mixing potions, brewing potions, drinking potions, testing potions. <laughs> he really likes potions, whoa. Nice. Science, the scientist, interesting. Oh, and there's our secret gem. Wow, that was a really easy hidden gem. Wow, I just barely survived that. That was a little scary. So let's turn it off like that. Oh, so this is a very, very useful platforming tool, and I'm sure the more we get into it, the more practice we'll get. It will eventually end on its own, as you can see, but there we go, we got the tape. So if I die from here on out, that would stink, but it's not the worst in the world. Is this, whoa, these lily pads are, are actually like traps. Peaceful when I arrived, but fortunately my potions had some murderous effects on the inhabitants. Uh, all the better to test you with. <laughs> so I guess these lily pads might have been nice in the past. Good to know uh, that was all Embryo's doing, I guess. Anyways, let's keep it moving. But like I was saying before, Crash 3 was pretty cool because it did have theming, but it was pretty inconsistent 
sometimes you would just run into a level that's like, okay, now this is an Egypt level, this is like an ancient, like Renaissance level. But here they sort of keep to the theme of the world, which I definitely appreciate. I hope I haven't missed anything. I don't think so, but that was a weird little section. Whoa. Whoa, cool. Yeah, I don't even have, I thought I had a Kano that whole time. I don't. Anything over there? It doesn't look like it. So we're just gonna grab that. Oh my gosh. Deflects green magic. See ya. No, wait, that didn't work. I'm a little confused. I spun at him. I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> silly me, silly me. Either way, we're gonna fly up this way. There we go. Remember, we gotta be, ooh. Very careful not to touch the TNT when we're in this mode. Okay, we're exploding that right there. But it's cool to get our second mask ability here. I don't know how many will be in the game, but so far, whoa, we're doing a pretty good job with finding them. Ah, no, no, okay. Well, there goes our first death. We can do that two more times. I was not expecting that though. Okay, so quickly. That didn't work either, what are you talking about? Weird. Um. There we go, that time it worked. Very odd though. Anything over this way, not looking like there's those cool little owls though. All right, got it, ooh, be careful. Got the golden wumpa. And that gives us our first gem. And now I know I can bounce off of this. Be very careful here. Oh man, that fires two shots. Gotcha, oh my gosh. Okay, so it seemed to have, it, it fires quite a lot of those. Whoa, 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 oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I'm being so silly, and then I can deflect it. I got it, now, there we go, get out of here. What about this one, though? I guess that one's not a threat. But now I've figured it out. I was just being really silly with that, but there must be an activation box somewhere around here, so I am looking around for that. Huh. That's what I've always liked about you. So dedicated to science. Not like the neighbors here, unwilling to cooperate with even a simple, deadly test. Well, I can't blame him. Where is that box though? Because I'm not seeing any sign of it being around out that way. It could be like up here, but doesn't look like it. I'm a little concerned that maybe I had missed it. I'll have to look around a little bit, but I can't get up there anymore. I hope it's further ahead or I'm gonna have to replay the level. I'm gonna have to anyways, regardless, because as you can see, I've died more than three times. <laughs> well, the game is really tough, what can I say? But you know, that's sort of what Crash Bandicoot's notorious for is a really tough game. No, oh, no! And there's another death. That was a weird jump though. It was hard to tell exactly how far we were along there. Oh my gosh, yeah, just turn it off. There we go, that was a much better jump with that. Still, there's no way we would backtrack that much though. So I'm guessing that we missed the one activation box. Oof. Definitely a tough level. Got it. But we're more than most of the way there with it. Unfortunately, we're guaranteed to not be able to get them all now. But I can at least see how close I could possibly get. Because I think we missed out on four boxes. Why did I do that? Okay, wait for the TNT to explode. Then we can go for the super spinny jump. Got it. Oh, nice. All right, well, there's more. It seems like not all of the lily pads are dangerous now. Oh, I don't, I, I was like trying to figure out how I could possibly uh, do the super spin here, but you don't even get to do that. So it seems like the green ones. I have to resort to live tests for my experiment, but you know, omelets, eggs, superpowered potions, marsupia, I mean, other animals. <laughs> All right, there we go. But yeah, um, it looks like the green only pads will, oh my gosh, I don't even have the thing to deflect this one. Oh, and I'm all the way back here again, come on. But the green only pads will only bite you when you stand on them. The yellow ones are like sort of rhythm rhythmically consistently biting. So it's good to keep that in mind as well. 
Okay, trying to dodge that. So far, so good. The game is definitely giving me a couple of extra rewards here to uh, sort of survive that section. It's giving me an Aku Aku. I think it gave me an extra checkpoint there as well, but hopefully we won't need it too much. Hmm. So how exactly do I do this? Not like that. Oh my. Because there was, you know, a jump there. Oh, okay, I made it up here. I don't know if I was supposed to be able to do that, but I did it. Oh wait, oh no, 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 it should be fine. <laughs> I was worried that that would may maybe make backtracking a bit difficult. Oh, that really might make it difficult though. Um, yeah, okay, I'm going to have to restart start this on. Whoops, <laughs> it is what it is. All right, because we don't get any kind of penalty for having to redo a bonus level, that's sort of the best thing about bonus levels. But I'm loving the view from this level so far. It, it's really, really cool. Okay, remember that we can get up there like that. And I just wanna be able to destroy this stuff. I'll backtrack the rest of it once we get the activation box. But I think right now it might be yeah, a decent idea to avoid most things, but we're at the end. Got it. Oh no. Ooh, there we go. So we gotta go back now, because there's still a lot of crates to get here. Excellent. Now I can get that one. Back over here. Big slam! That was awesome. So yeah, you have this jumping crate, but I don't know if there's actually any way to reach it. Ah! That's sort of a waste of an Aku Aku, but oh well. And there we go, there's all 31 crates. Trying to make sure I don't get squished by this. Excellent. There we go. At least we made our way through the bonus. Certainly a challenge. And what do we got next? Oh, oh more? Really? <laughs> How'd I manage that? I don't know. Oh, so it looks like this world is gonna be really tough. I think this time I'm going to just try to, oh, that's a lily pad, yeah. We're dying so much. Down 11 lives now. All right. Wow. Okay, we got it, we got it. And we got that. Hmm. So what exactly is going on with this one? We can get over this way. Send that right back at you. Worked pretty well. Hmm. Are there any crates way up there? I don't know why the camera is so far away. Let's go ahead and explore that. There we go, okay. A little bit of a scary way to traverse this. No, you're kidding. The camera was sort of changing as we were moving, which I certainly don't prefer. Oh, there's a little fire block there. I didn't see, I think that's what hit us before. Oh my goodness. Okay, just chill out right here and just try to reflect all this. Nice. And now I know that, there we go. The camera actually follows correctly this time. Why, why? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, buddy, you're going down this time. So he charges after you, and then you can go after him. He sort, of, he sort of works like the big crab enemy that we saw last episode. There we go. I don't have to worry about that too much. It's gonna explode, it'll take out the staff. All right, and we've gotten quite a lot of the crates. I'm hoping it'll just be the four, oh no, that we missed with the activation. The gaps between checkpoints is getting longer and longer though, it feels. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Maybe just the time between checkpoints has just become more and more difficult and thus feels more drawn out. Could be anything at this point. There we go, there we go. Um. I'm very clumsy. Oh yeah, these lily pods won't attack me. Okay, these ones coming up will though, so I wanna time this correctly. Not bad. I don't think there's anything over there. So we still missed how many crates? After we hit this, we'll find out. We still missed nine crates somewhere. So I definitely have to replay through this one and figure that out a bit. 
What a tough level, though. That was really challenging. Luckily, we got some other stuff done. We got the hidden gem. We got the three Wumpa gems. That's nice to see. And the flashback tape. So we're gonna replay and see if I can't get those extra crates. Oh, I think I just saw it. Okay, well, that's gonna unlock a whole thing, but you might be able to see up here. There it is. Can I get that? I might have to get Akano's help here. So let's let's go ahead and grab him. And... Gotcha. <laughs> There we go, okay, so I did hit it, awesome. I don't know if that counts as a crate or not, but we're already over 100,000, not 100,000, just 100, sorry. I don't know I don't know where the thousand came from in my mind. My brain is fried from incredibly difficult Crash Bandicoot levels, but I'm having a blast still. It just takes all my energy. So as you can see, that that did give us eight more crates, not four more. Um. Oh yeah, this is where I'm a little bit worried, but I found out that as long as I keep pressing the square button, I'm actually, oh my. I'm actually able to keep doing this. There we go. It doesn't just end. So what are we at now? 127. So at this point, I just gotta complete the level, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I missed any other crates. So I think I was able to pull it off, but we're gonna find out. There it is, and I also got the within three lives gem. That definitely took a whole lot of extra effort, but I'm glad to have gotten it done. Awesome. So there we go, we unlocked the Persona. So I guess he's a little cat. Uh, that's cool. Um, so let's keep moving with that. We got our first level done. But I am sure there's plenty more to do. I think there's at least like three more levels. This is one of the larger worlds because the previous world was only three levels, I think. Well, main levels. There were plenty of other stuff going on. Yep, all right then. So there's Embryo hanging out again. So I guess we'll have that boss fight. Whoa, and we do unlock a ton of level. And that's right, we also unlock the ability to access. There's so much on the flashback tapes. Outfit durability exam. Sure, let's give it a try. I love these. These are some of my favorite levels, not only because they have a different type of gameplay, but because also you get to see this fun little story mechanic. They've thought of a lot of cool stuff in this game and it really makes me happy. Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah, I don't need to do that. What I need to do is I need to duck and go slow. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that's new lore then. So Crash's famous shorts are actually Cortex's old shorts. Weird. Oh, ow, that hurt but that is so interesting. Why did I do that? I keep, why do I keep doing it? I can't believe that though. I love hearing this new stuff and that's where it gets really exciting. This game is clearly made by people who are a fan of Crash Bandicoot, just like I am. And that's that's really, really awesome. That they put that much care and detail in it so far. This is, I enjoy, I expected to enjoy this game, but so far it's very quickly becoming one of my favorites of this year. We'll see how it continues, of course, but. I don't see it really going downhill. It's gonna get more, a lot more difficult, I'm sure of that. There we go. So what exactly, I guess I could just go right across that gap. Now this one requires some timing. Oh my. Same thing here. That was good. All right then, Cortex. Some things are best kept to yourself. So I was gonna open up this crate. There's so much to this level. What do I do here? I think I gotta come back, right? Oh! Yeah, I, maybe my timing wasn't good there. That was a little bit of a weird one. But luckily, wasn't too bad to get through all that. Just gotta hit that. Explode the TNT. And then bounce off all this again. So yeah, I'm, I'm hoping then. Oh no. Oh, I made it that time, good. Cause you can't just, no, nah, you can't do that either. Oh man, this checkpoint is, is really useful. But, ow. Every time I'm trying to explain what's going on, I die again. But you can't spin while you're just ducked. It, you need some momentum. Mm. 
There we go. Ooh, don't get much running space there. Aha, Dow. Oh no, we didn't die from that. So that's all but one crate. We gotta go back over here and grab that one. So there we go, all 100% of the crates and we can sort of make this a little bit of a shortcut. Boom, that wasn't too bad then. And there we go, flashback complete. We got the platinum little relic there. So there's that flashback tape. I'm sure we'll be unlocking more throughout today's episode, but we also wanna go and do that tunnel level now. Cool to get little surprises like that, right? So this level that we're about to do should be the same level again, but with Tana, and should contextually explain some stuff going on, which is always awesome. Um, not worrying about skins at the moment. Well, let's just go ahead and play this level, Potion Commotion. All right, let's hop in with Tana. Oh, here we are. What is going on with this? I don't know what that means, but cool. There we go. We got a couple of crates around. We have 175 in total to get for this level. If it's anything like last episode, it's gonna be quite the challenge to find them all. That took me a lot of effort to get them, but we'll do what we can here. I do see that and you. There we go. But lots of crates that, ah! Oh, just barely made that. I don't know if that's, I guess that wasn't the way I was supposed to do it, but it worked. I'm sure there's gonna be lots of crates far off the side of the screen that we'll just have to pay attention about. Oh, and little sneaky stuff like that. There's our hidden gem. Let's definitely get that Aku Aku. Wait, is there anything over here? Or there? Nope. Whoa, look at the dragon. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, I love it. All right. Let's keep it moving. That was bad timing. That was really bad timing. Should have thrown out my tether there. Would have bought me some extra time though. Oh boy. You know what? I might as well restart the level then. Well, actually, you know what? I'm not too worried about it. As long as I can just not lose too many more lives, right? Okay, so we got past it that time, but I did lose my Aku Aku. Definitely tough to maneuver that. Oh no, no! Oh man, as far as I get, I just die again. And there's no checkpoints. Where are the checkpoints at? Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go again. Gotta be quick with this. This lily pad is fine, yeah. We gotta take advantage of whichever ones we can stand on for long periods of time. And I really wanna observe our environment to make sure that we're getting all the crates po possible. I think we got a checkpoint though. I really, really hope we did. Gotcha. And I think that up here, yeah, there was a golden one, but I saw it in the distance. Speaking of which, I see some more up on what looks like some scaffolding up ahead. There we go. Taking out enemies with this at a distance too is really useful. Okay, so yeah, let's just break these open a little bit. And we got a wall jump up there. We got it. Maybe. Oh, I see. Gotcha. That's cool. Watch out for the dragon. I don't think there's a way to take the dragon out. It has the green magic, so I suppose. Whoa, that was that was weird. That was our first death for this one. I had to restart because I wanted to make sure that. Oh come on! There's our second death. I can only die one more time. Oh, not cool. But I think that if we had the Akano ability right now, we would actually be able to use that to get rid of it because it is green. Oh wait, was there another one up here? No, no, no. That was the same one as before. I was just getting it mixed up. Oh, but it's so tough, and the levels just get tougher with each episode. I don't know how many worlds are in the game, but so far this game is proving to be really long. This is so much content to play through, and that's really exciting. Oh, so you have to turn in midair. That's the problem, okay. I had thought that if it has the R2 symbol over it, that means it would just automatically go to it, but I guess not. Whoa, hey, it's Embrya. Oh my. Oh, and that's how the door opened. Whoa. And now we're back as Coco. So, just like before, it's gonna be the same level again now, but I think it might also be slightly more difficult or something. Okay, so I can't go back that way. Good to know. Just sort of experimenting with things. 
Gotcha. Well, now remember, I can only die one more time, so I have to be very careful here. But this is assumedly very similar to what we just did. Yeah, but it is different. Hmm. There's no longer a crate up here. There was before, but not now. Interesting. So what I wanna do for this one actually is that. So at least we get like a remixed version of the level. That's always fun. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful of that. But it's so cool to see how Tana has helped us out throughout the adventure. And hopefully how she'll continue helping us out. Very fun idea. Whoa, that could have been bad. Gotcha. So we're at 59 out of 175. So yeah, there's definitely less, less crates in this than there were in the original level. Gotcha, okay. We are able to survive that. We're doing pretty good, though. I hope that there are that many I don't know if there are gonna be that many more crates. That hurt. I tried to dodge it, but I ended up sliding right into it. It seems like there might be more crates than there were before leading up to this now. So we'll just have to try our best. Oh no, I forgot we don't have the power up. Yeah, that's sort of something that's a little tricky I've noticed in the game. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, that means I cannot lose any more lives. And I'm way back here again. Okay, I should be able to make it this time. And I was, and I still have the Aku Aku mask. But like I was trying to say before, it doesn't really, oh boy, make it super obvious. Oh, we got the bonus level again, that's weird. Super obvious when the mask powers go away. So you really have to pay attention to it yourself so you don't make a silly mistake. Okay, so this is different now. Hmm. So this time, you need to explode those right away. And here I guess I don't have too much of a choice. Weird. Oh, these are flame crates. Got it. Oh, and look at this, we can bounce up here. What a weird setup for it. Oh no, that might have been a mistake. We'll have to go for some really far jumps on the way back. I think we could do it though. You can jump surprisingly far in this game. So that should be 26 and 27. So we're good. We got them all. As long as you really delay that second jump, you can jump super far in this game. Especially since we could descend there for a while. That helps out a lot too. All right. This is awesome so far, but there's still so much more left to do, and we can't die during any of it. Hopefully we we do well with that. If not, that stinks, and oh, that was actually really good though. Let's grab that mask. Oh, I see all those flaming crates. Not entirely sure how we maneuver this one. I guess like this. Got him. We do get a second Aku Aku there. Yeah, we haven't gotten that yet. We haven't gotten the triple Aku Aku invincibility. Not a single time. Shows you how much more difficult this game is. And you know, in Crash 1 through 3, I did have the advantage of knowing the games really well before I did a series on them, because I played them when I was younger. I don't have that advantage this time, so just, you know, lots more is stacked against us in that line. Oh no, ooh. There we go. Now this is where things get really tough. But so far we've got it. There it is. Let's hope that there were 14. No! <laughs> All of that work and I'm gonna have to do it again. Oh, this game is ruthlessly difficult. Well, at least Coco's happy about it. She's dancing. Uh, well. Let me try again. I mean, I did get everything else out, so I just have to go through and get all the crates. Aha, there was a Wumpa, Golden Wumpa crate back there. I did not see that one. So that is definitely one that I have missed in the past. So uh, I think we were still missing one other box, so I'll keep looking for any kind of hidden ones just like that. Oh, I definitely missed that crate up there. So let's hope 
that's everything? I will continue to look, like I said, but I'm not sure. Come on, come on. Yes, there it is. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> that was not easy. That was incredibly difficult, actually, but we got it done. And we also got, I think, a new uh, skin there for Crash. It was paper cut or something like that. Either way, back to the dimensional map. It has taken me an hour to get two levels done. <laughs> the game just, well, actually, no, we also got the, the, the one flashback level. So it wasn't, it was three, three levels. That's good. But here we are again. Let's move up this way and take on the next level, Dragon On. Ooh, so maybe there's a dragon here? That'd be cool. But also, let's do another skin. Um... Oh, I really wanna do this one, but we don't have it unlocked. Oh, that's what we unlock here. So let's do, do, have we done Bright now? We did it for Crash, we haven't done it for Coco. So that sounds like fun to me. Let's give that a try and hop into it. Drag it on, gotta get all the gems and stuff. It'll be an interesting time. Okay, here we go. So what's going on with this level? We have 139 crates. And we'll start getting our first few here. I will try to be diligent, but we go a little bit in the dark with this costume. It looks pretty cool in that way. There we go. But hopefully we can take everything we've learned so far and apply it for this level. Oh. Look at us, just like the old days. Working together against those who keep us down and humiliate us by forcing us to pick out our own birthday card and sign them for him. Oh. I, 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 I mean, could at least pay half. Aw, poor, poor Embryo. Cortex doesn't treat him right. With that being said, he's still attacking us too. You'd think he'd just help us out. Weird. Either way, uh, just trying to get through this level. The dragons are so pretty, and it does remind me a lot of the Crash 3 levels with Pura, where there were dragons flying around there too. I can't say I see the appeal of all that jumping you do. Perhaps I don't have the right body for it. Yeah. Oh boy. We all know about Embryo's attempts to change his form through his potions, and we know we're probably gonna be taking him on later on. So that's certainly gonna be interesting. Whoa, whoa. I don't think I have, okay, now I do. I was gonna say, I don't think I have the abilities to take him on, but now you're in trouble, or not. Oh, I can't bring it over there. Note taken. Okay, that was a scary jump right there. Wow. Yeah, I love the nighttime aesthetic to this one. It looks really cool. So here's the question, can I take you out? It won't let me. Oh yeah, once again, we don't have the power up. It needs to make it more obvious when we don't have the power up. It's so easy to not notice. That wasn't too bad. Still pull any more crates to get in this level. Oh my, that could have gone south really fast. Whoa, these fall off too. See ya. Whoa, did that get me? I guess it did, obviously. Oh, that's rough. I don't know if I got those crates before though, so maybe it worked out overall. Ah, oh, now we're getting all toasted up. I don't really trust trying to deflect it now. I don't want bad things to happen, so. Trying to just sort of wait out my time for these super powered gongs to not mess me up. There we go and definitely get this checkpoint. Unfortunately, I know I'm going to have to replay this level at least once to get the the lives, but I might have to do it for the crates again anyways, who knows? So I'm not really stressing about it too much. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, gotcha. I wanna backtrack a little bit because I feel like I might have missed something, but I don't really see too much. So we're just gonna keep moving. Oh boy. Gotcha. What's back here? Nothing, that seems like a weird little secret, but maybe on the side? Hidden gem, maybe? That hurt me. Okay. Note to self, don't do that. It's okay, we didn't get sent back too far. Luckily, we just got this checkpoint. But I am on the lookout for the, for the hidden gem. It's weird that you can go into those little corners and there's not much. But no, the tape's here. Oh my gosh, that's gonna take a lot of work to get back to. But see how I have to replay through the level anyways to not lose lives? It's fine, you know, we'll figure it out. So far though, the one thing I can say is that it really seems like we've gotten most of the crates. That could have been bad. 
I don't know if we can get rid of this guy with this spin move, and I don't feel very interested in risking it. Oh, is this like a seesaw? No? Okay, I don't know why, it sort of looked like it. Oh, what's back there? Can I slide in there? I don't know what that's about. Wonder how we can maybe get in. Oh my, oh my, whoa! Sometimes I think you're my only friend. Aw. And then I realize, no, that's right. <laughs> Poor Embryo, he struggles so much. I mean, I think he's a pretty cool character. He's a bit of a crazy bad guy and he's been trying to beat us up, so I don't know why he thinks we're friends in that way, but maybe he just thinks of friendship differently. We gotta show him what a real friend really is. I wonder, is there anything way up here? Not looking like it. All right. But yeah, it's certainly tough to get up there in that way without hitting the TNT. Oh, we don't even have, once again, the mask went away and I didn't even realize that. There we go. Still haven't found that hidden gem. I'm hoping that one opening wasn't something because I could not find a way in there. Whoa, these fall, these fall. So before we worry about that, or actually, ooh, no. For a second I thought, yeah, we can. It got me excited, then it disappointed me. Then it got me excited again. But way up there. There we go, you have to do the butt slam to really get up to it. But there was a thing. But yeah, I, I, I can use the new power up here, which is pretty cool. The question is, how do I get up there? I definitely not that way. I was trying to see if I can't bounce off the dragon. Maybe I shouldn't worry about it just yet. Maybe I should move on with the rest of the level to see. It's definitely not easy though. Oh, there we go. Not normally the way I do that, but it works this time. That's awesome. I don't know. Nope, you can't do that. Huh. Okay, I'm just going to ignore it for now and hope that I'm just supposed to go at it at a different spot. But at the same time, I'm not seeing too much of a way up there. It's actually weird. That was just not what I wanted to do at all. This bonus level is really tough and really weird. So I can explode all of that and that's good. But I don't really know I guess I could just, yeah, do that. But how do I get that one crate? I still don't know. What's going on with that one? Oh. All right, so you can really manipulate the momentum depending on when you turn the power up on. That's fascinating. There we go. Ready, boop. And, gotcha. There we go. That was certainly a lot more difficult than I was anticipating for a bonus area. We're up to 105 crates out of the 139 we need. That means we're getting close, right? I sure hope so. Um, let's keep it going. We'll get farther up the side of this giant tower. Can I hop on you? There it is, cool. Ooh, ooh, what's back here? Hidden gem maybe? Or anything? Just a couple of Wumpa fruit? I don't buy that for a second. Whoa, hold on, there's our hidden gem. And I'm just trying to make extra, extra sure we got everything, it looks like it. So I guess it was behind a couple of um, slam crates, or I guess they're called reinforced crates? That makes sense, I guess. Ooh, definitely get that checkpoint, first and foremost. We're getting really, really close to everything now. Very exciting, but Scary, because I don't want to have to do it all over. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is a little bit of that. I got that up there. Any more secret entrances? Not here at the least. There we go. Whoa, so we could maybe, I need to practice with that. Maybe we could actually slide double jump no, okay, I, I didn't know if we could maybe manipulate like a quadruple jump out of it. Just five more crates though. 
That's not much. No, oh, dude. <laughs> I'm glad that there was a checkpoint there. <laughs> really glad. Because it looks as though... Wow, that was a little scary. But it looks as though we might need it. That is so awkward. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And get up this way. Ooh. And there's the last few, few crates. Come on. Yes. We got it. Wait, don't do that. <laughs> oh, no. We're so close to getting it done. Just get back up there. We can do it again. Excellent. You don't even need the, the spin move too much for this area. Oh, you do for this. For sure. And for this one. There we go. So just don't. Oh, there we go, we got it, the double takedown. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I must have taken them all out one way or another. Interesting, well, there we go. We got it, so we didn't get everything done in this level. We do need to go back into it because we died a bunch. And I also need to get the mixtape, so I gotta get all the way up to that point again without dying and then hope I don't die an additional three times after. And there we go, took me a couple tries, but was able to get up to this point without dying to get the flashback tape. But now I gotta complete the level, hopefully without dying anymore, but I'm not getting all the crates anyways, so there's no way I can get the perfect relic. I just need to not die more than three times. Hopefully I can handle that. So there we go, I did die once, but not too big of a deal. We made it work. And there we go. So we get the Persona costume now for Coco as well, and we're good to continue forward. I'm just glad that we got all the gems we needed and the flashback tape. So I do think that this means we only have the flashback tape, and then maybe Embryo to take on? Unless I'm getting it mixed up. I guess we're about to find out, but it has been quite the challenge. Yeah, no, there's still another level. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but hey, let's go down here and see what this flashback tape has in store for us. It is Embryo Superior Study. Sounds good to me. Let's get to it. So this one, I guess, uh, features Embryo in some way, which is pretty cool. To find out exactly how. I'm testing, testing one, two, test. Hello, feeble subject. It is I, Dr. Nitrous Brio, your future master. <laughs> huh, I thought that was supposed to be Cortex. <laughs> Maybe he just like took the mic when Cortex wasn't looking or something. Weird. But uh, it's just interesting how Cortex and Embryo are always at odds in that way. Oh, I didn't even see those. That was tricky. See, we have 215. Oh, yeah, would you look at that? The beginning of the level is also the end. So we may want to elect to be careful here um, by destroying as few crates as possible. Well, that's not few. But yeah, let's get up here. Bounce up that way. And I guess I'll get this checkpoint. Just like that. What's this about? Oh, there's even more. That is so weird. Um, oh no. Oh, okay, I thought that that was gonna explode the crates below it. It didn't, luckily. I know I have to backtrack. Wait, is that? Weird, I think it's activated. Yeah, we're at 156 already, so that was actually pretty quick. You can definitely slam these without an issue then. But I guess our goal here, oh no! <laughs> That's not easy, not one bit. All right, try again. Wait, this level's, or this, you know, the level's music is from Crash 2, which is my favorite Crash game. Gives me a flashback just because I love this music a lot. Specifically, it's one of my favorite songs in the game. And it's also from some pretty tough sections of the game, so <laughs> I heard it a lot growing up. But it's also just interesting thinking back to those times. If you don't know, the first video project I did for Zebra Gamer was Crash Bandicoot 2, and that was actually just past 11 years ago. So it's really cool that, you know, 11 years ago, basically to the day, I was playing Crash Bandicoot for you guys. Now, fast forward um, 11 years, and I'm still playing Crash Bandicoot for you guys. <laughs> Some things never change, and I appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and boom. Get all the way up, and now we've made it full circle. The problem is, 
we need to go back. <laughs> and, oh no. Oh, I made it, I made it. Don't land on the TNT. This is so tricky, but I think we can do it. Not at all what I was expecting for this level, though. <laughs> so this is where I'm a little scared. Oh no, I don't know if we can make that. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, ah, whoa, no! Okay, so we could have saved it though. I forgot about the platforms below. So we should be able to slam on those. And remember, I can fall down here. Oh. And make this jump, and we're back at it. Now it shouldn't be too bad to get back over this way. Get over here. Oh no. The way back is not going to be easy. In fact. Oh! Whoa! I didn't know you could even do that! I didn't know you could break them and bounce off of them at the same time. That was phenomenally lucky. And that was every crate. <laughs> that was awesome! Alright, embryo superiority. Um, that was a superiorly difficult level. I can say that much. So. We still have two more levels left to tackle here. We need to go to the next one, and then we are going to tackle um, the Embryo boss fight, I can only assume. So let's get back up there, and also change our outfit for Coca. Hmm. Oh, so we could do the Z, Z Artiste. Haven't actually gotten the option to get that one yet. But what is this over here? The Persona. Oh, that looks so cool. We're gonna definitely use that one to take on Embryo. But for right now, let's do Z Artiste and try out Tranquility Falls 1402 off balance. Oh boy. All right, whoa, look at this cool tree. I like it. Anything back here before we get started? We have 187 crates. Any guesses on your re re reward? I'll give you a hint. It's something you've had before. <laughs> I'm guessing a fight with you. Either way, we'll look around a little bit. I really like that fancy little tree with the orb in it. Looks cool. But yeah, I was hoping that we could see Purr in a level like this, because we had that one level in Crash 3 where it was like the Great Wall of China and you got the round Purr across it and that was always super cool. Why does that hurt me? Usually that doesn't. That's weird, if you spin the crate under a TNT block, that normally doesn't happen. So it's weird that it, it's starting to happen all of a sudden. Okay, that guy broke it for me. We've already died once, is there a, hold on. Oh, you know what, we're gonna have to restart the level then. Because there's a tape, I gotta be very careful. There we go. Wall run, whoa, what is this? <laughs> That's so cool! They're just randomly introducing that in the middle of the game. That's awesome, look at us! Whoa! Never thought there'd be a wall running mechanic in a Crash Bandicoot game, That's awesome. Oh boy, so he's trying to use us as target practice before he takes on Cortex. So we'll have to make sure we put a stop to him. Oh, there we go. Very good. Why did I go this way? That worked, luckily, but that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Oh, all right, all right. If it works, it works out. Yeah, I guess that there's sort of like a couple ways to get around in that way. You can see there's another wall jump section there. Whoa, look at the floating fish. That looks awesome as well. This game has such a cool art aesthetic to it. All right, ready? Gotta get you. And we do have Aku Aku, which is certainly useful, but. Hmm, I'm trying to find out like what's the best way to get rid of this. Because like I said, yeah, that doesn't work, that's weird. I swear in the old Crash games, you could still spin the one under it, but I guess not here. Whoa, look at that. Thank you for all that, is that Tana's doing again? I guess we'll find out. Hmm. All right. Whoa, some of the buildings are upside down. What is going on there? I don't think there was anything that way. Whoa, whoa, we made it, we made it. Still trying not to die. So this Aku Aku would be really useful. Oh, and we got Akano. A Budaba. I like how they all still say that. Yeah, deflect those as much as we can. 
Wow, this is getting crazy. Oh no. Oh, uh, there it is, there it is, yes! So now if we die, it would stink of course, but it's not as big of a deal to me. Got it? Let's just wait for that to explode. Get rid of you, you went flying. So we're doing okay so far. We make the good team. If we survive our trial, uh, if you enjoy your reward, we will make an even better team. Uh, yes, yeah. Well, we'll see about that. Maybe we'll take a page out of Tana's book and just tell him that we fly solo. <laughs> we fly solo together, but it's still solo. Either way, we got a bonus level here. And how are we doing with earning up the Wumpa Fruit? Uh, I guess I can't check right now. Okay, we'll check after. All right, ready? There we go. And I would love to slam here, but I don't want to risk. Well, I guess it just—it wouldn't even be a risk. It'd be a guarantee that we'd fall to our dooms and get exploded by the TNT. Why did I do that? That was okay. Oh, I really don't like accidentally wasting an Aku Aku on a bonus level. That sort of stinks. How do you do that though? I guess you just gotta time that jump just right. Definitely not easy. So the tough part about this is occasionally Nitro Crates will sort of jump like that and you just have to time it right. Once you do, there you go, you've made it through. You don't wanna slide jump there because you just hit the ceiling and you bounce back down in a way that just makes you hit it. But there we go, we got it. We can pick up the Econo Mask and hope that everything turns out well around here. Can I move? I cannot move forward and back here, a little weird. Oh, I do see that crate up there. Got it. <laughs> Just trying to stay safe here. Get as many of the crates as I can while also not dying. Luckily we can use the right analog stick to sort of look around a little bit. Get a good view of everything to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, that could have been bad. I don't have Aku Aku. Whoa, yeah, definitely dodge that stuff. And it looks like while there is more up there, I should be able to come at it from a different direction. I don't know what's with that little group of nitro over there. Hmm. And I also see that, but a little confused on how I get over there. Whoa, oh no. Oh, that was fortunate. So obviously I'm supposed to spin. That's gonna be really tough though. Whoa. Okay. Oh, and these are crates here. Didn't even see those. I do not trust this, because there are TNT crates here. Gotta be careful of that. No hidden gem though. Those nitro crates over there sort of seem like a little suspicious, but gonna leave it be for now. Oh, and there goes our power up. Oh, we get the wall ride or wall walk or wall jump or whatever you want to call it. I think it's wall jumping. While also dodging all of that. There we go. Oh, oh, it's hard to tell perspective wise what was going on there. And also we're still looking for our hidden gem. Don't know where that is. That's weird. That's so weird. We got it out. Oh. Ah! Okay, I survived it, wow. Got more wall jumping. Ho ho ho, all right. This game is something else, isn't it? I love it. Whoa, okay, that was our third, third gem for the Wumpa fruit. That is so cool. And hey, look, we got our buddy here. We haven't seen him in a little bit. Always fun to see him again. Doesn't look like I'm missing out on anything over there, but the the moving platforms that we can shift in and out of existence. That's certainly something. Okay, it's in existence. And then we will uh, do a bit of that. Whoa, really? Okay, well it looks like we're not getting the perfect completion here. That's fine, I still have two more lives I can lose. All right. Here's our platform again. And what's interesting is like different parts of the costume will even light up. 
depending on... Wow. Um, but different parts of the costume will light up depending on which form you're in. That's pretty cool. I don't like the nitro crates. <laughs> well, I wonder if I can, no, I can't. Whoa! No, wait, no! Oh, that's wonky. So this part's really tough <laughs> because as far as I understand, we gotta do that, but actually time it correctly. I don't know how I feel about this. Wow, that's crazy. Ready? Cool. And if you time that wrongly, you end up just destroying yourself. And unfortunately, I will have to replay the level because I lost too many lives. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. We need it to, oh, oh. Oh, did I just get a checkpoint? Okay, I did, thank goodness. Um, whoa, I, I spun now, I spun. Come on, give me a little more time there. Oh my goodness. All right, spin, jump, spin, switch, jump, jump. And there goes our thing. Still haven't found the hidden gem, by the way. Looking all over for that, but I just can't seem to find it. Oh, we're getting this power up again. Can I get over it? I can. Now, can I get up this way? Nope. That wasn't too bad. My timing with this was not optimal, but somehow I'm surviving it. Oh no. Can I make this jump? Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. And with hitting this, I still miss two crates. <laughs> oh no. I have to play, basically I have to replay through the entire level and get absolutely everything all over again. But it looks like I maybe had to do that anyways because I'm still trying to find the hidden gem. But at least I found the flashback tape, so there's something. Whoa, whoa is that, whoa. Tree droppings, I guess I hit the tree and it gave me a berry that stunned me. That was weird, I was just trying to hit the, the crates. Uh, all right, well I'm glad to get like a hidden little achievement there. That's fun. Whoa, whoa! Would well, you look at this? There's something going on here. What is all this? It's like a full on bonus area. Oh, maybe this is where we find the hidden gem. Because I really. What are you talking about? That wasn't fair! What? I can't die too many more times here. So I really, really need to be careful. But maybe we can find an extra crate or two. That would be preferred. But I just don't want the game to. Ruin me like that anymore, please. Um, okay, they're gonna jump forward. Then I'm gonna land on one. I'm gonna land on the other. Oh my goodness. So what's going on here? Ooh, watch out for the nitro. Whoa, watch out for the fire. Wow, wow, wow. I can't die any more than that. That's really tough. How did I do that? <laughs> Who knows? Gonna slam right down this way though, because I know that's what I'm supposed to do now. But this is so crazy difficult. So now I know that, but I pressed the button, what are you talking about? Oh, Crash Bandicoot. I mean, I know we're playing as Coco, but I mean like the game. Why you gotta be so difficult? There we go. Do. Got it. Just trying to recoup and figure out where we going next. It looks like up here. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> There's the gem though, you can see it in the distance. So there were no crates with this one whatsoever, it seems. Weird. Oh, there we go. Oh no, now this is the part that's tough, but we can just go over like that, and there we go. We got the gem. So yeah, there really were no crates there at all, but we got the hidden gem. That was a nightmare, and I've died a lot. I'm, I'm up to eight deaths now, so I, I will once again have to replay through this entire level, at least with that one. Whoops, it won't be 100%. Um, I'll just have to play through it enough so that we uh, get to the end. We don't have to get all the crates for that. So that's nice. That is if I can get all the crates right now. I guess in terms of backtracking, it is nice that, oh my, um, 
if I were have to replay this level and get all the crates again, I don't have to go and get that gem. There's a checkpoint, very much so needed. Don't get burned by that. Thank you. Here's another Aku Aku. Ow, and there goes my Aku Aku, there goes me. I just got a checkpoint though, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I don't know why, I, once again, I, I thought I had the power up there again. The mask went away. Go quick, go quick. That's a little tricky, because once again, like, depth-wise, it's sort of hard to tell how close I was to the fire. I was closer than I guess I actually thought. That wasn't too bad. Interesting. All right, we're at 123 out of 187, so I just gotta keep going until I find more crates. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Oh, I just barely reacted to that. There was a crate up there. What a tricky spot for a crate right up there on the balcony. I know there's a couple of other balcony. There's one right there. How many crates were we missing? I think it was only two. So hopefully those were the last two. I guess we're about to find out. Um, If we can get to the end of this, definitely the Aku Aku here would be very useful. Um, so what are we at right now? Okay, wait, wait, wait. We're at 149 out of 187. Now remember, there's plenty of nitro crates. So even though there's not that many crates around right now. Oh, I didn't get hit. I might get hit here, but I have an Aku Aku. I did get hit. No, no, come on, really? There we go. Is this enough? No, it's not. Isn't that great? Well, let me complete the level anyways, because I can at least activate the hidden gem, but oh man. This is the kind of thing that <laughs> gives me nightmares. It is so difficult. There we go, okay, I got that gem. My journey is not over, because I was able to get every crate that time, but I died a couple times. But at this point, I'm so familiar with this level, I'm pretty confident I can play it through without dying if I'm not worrying about the crates fairly quickly. So I'll be right back. And there we go. So after what I can only imagine is like 10 times playing through this level, finally got it. Level complete, every gem. Can't believe there's some people in the world who can do all of that in one go without dying. That's insane. Either way, we're just gonna move forward for right now and see what is happening next. I think for real, we're gonna be taking on Embryo now. How exciting is that? So after a lot of buildup, let's see what he's got. Oh boy, here we go. Coco versus Embryo. Let's first off change our skin up a little bit. We just unlocked a new one. Oh, let's do the Persona. It's so cute, I love it. All right then, so yeah, let's hop in with this costume and do Trouble Brewing against Embryo. Hmm. Hey there, Embryo. He's still mixing up potions. <laughs> oh, good! You've arrived! And now for your reward! Oh, boy. So a reward is a fight. Oh, no. We're not We're not staying full. We're gonna move. Whoa! So, whoa! Okay. No taken. <laughs> that happens. Um... See, I'm guessing that this is going to be pretty similar to the Crash 1 Embryo fight, which was the only other previous, wow, yeah, he even has a little slime like last time, that's so cool. That was the only Embryo boss fight before this, which is why it's so cool he's back. At least regarding the original trilogy. And seeing how this is Crash 4, I think that's all I really need to consider. There we go, knocked him away. Knocked him away, already down basically halfway. Whoa! I don't know what that is, but <laughs> sounds fa fancy. Your way to victory. There we go, gotcha. Wow! I think this might be a bit deceptively easy. Oh. oh no, here we go again! Oh ho ho ho! Wow, he's more powered up than ever. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I don't like it. Can I jump on his head? Is that what I'm supposed to do here? Whoa, whoa, ready? Oh, oh, I gotta knock him off, gotta knock him off, I think. Come on, one more time, one more time. <laughs> there we go, see ya. I don't think he's quite done with that. Do we get to keep this? Oh my goodness, it looks like we do, even though I don't know if that's always the best idea is to keep it. 
because does he get dizzy on his own? Or can I land on him? I mean, I can land on him, but it doesn't seem to do much. There we go, come on. There we go. Boom, see ya. One more time. What is that? Whoa. Yeah, all this is is really just a weird visual effect. It doesn't really make anything too much more or less difficult, it seems. Oh no, that will. Don't fall off. There we go. He got dizzy. Yeah! Wait, oh, I thought that was it. That's it! <laughs> Thank you very much! See ya! Master Mixologist, oh. Is he back to normal? I think he is. Well, we win! Uh-oh. What in the world is that? Final test. Taste my reptilian wrath. Michael, wake up. Uh-oh. Is that an egg? What is going on? Let's get out of here. Well, you know. I didn't think that in Crash Bandicoot 4, Embryo would turn into a pterodactyl and lay an egg. But here we are. That was weird. What are we gonna do with that egg? I guess maybe we can find out later, but Embryo's leaving for now, right? Uh, see ya. Whoa! What's all this? He's dropping stuff all over the levels. Inverted mode unlocked. Replay completed levels in Embryo's backwards brain scrambling bump a berry fueled inverted mode. Also, more gems to collect. Oh my goodness, every level? So I guess every level has an inverted mode, which might be something I actually tackle after I beat the main game. Whoa, look at this place. Looking cool. So that's what we'll tackle in the next episode after defeating Embryo, the classic crash skin unlocked. Go to the skins menu to equip skins and discover how to unlock more. That is so cool, I love that one. Um, but as you can see over this way, we got Mosquito Marsh a few days ago. <laughs> I like how relative that is. Um, really cool, so we'll be going to Mosquito Marsh next episode and we unlocked the, crash, the classic Crash skin, but there's also, if we defeat Engine in Inverted Mode, we can get that classic Coco skin as well. That's so exciting. But I'm a little curious about that. If we go to the level stats, and also, did I ever, there might have been one thing I forgot to do. <laughs> Did I ever play the flashback? Yeah, there isn't, okay, so, so we'll do one more flashback level for today, but yeah. Um, what else do we have going on? Um, not the flashback tapes, but, no, the level stats, that's what I need. Um, yeah, look at this, every single level now has another gem. So that is definitely something, we'll do a second playthrough to get all those. This game has so much content to it, but for right now, let's hop into a uh, flashback tape. Diary entry, 30th of May, 1996, which might have been like right before the game came out. It's also right before I was born, only like a half a month before. Uh, so we're playing as Crash for this one. I might as well switch Crash's skin so we can start checking out more of these. Um, we haven't seen well, I guess we haven't seen the persona for him either. Wow, that looks cool. I really like it. So yeah, let's go ahead and try this one. Ooh. So what's going on with this one? 175 crates to get. And I think that it might just be good to move forward from that. Yeah, that got all the crates there. Oh, I love this song too. This one's from the first Crash game. Ow. Oopsie indeed. I always love the old VHS style, uh, like sort of static frequency you get there. Makes me a little nostalgic. Oh no, how did that one get me? That one was a little weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we're, we're in the clear for now. Hmm. Ah, oh, that is so tough, because I bounce off of it a little bit for some weird reason. That, and that was a silly. There we go. I seem to be developing a connection with the subject. A fatherly, wait, did I hit the wrong button? <laughs> so he pressed the mic button instead of the, his diary button. That's so cute though, he feels a fatherly connection to Crash. Even though he tries to destroy him. Uh, well, I guess. 
Sometimes it's just how family is, I suppose. A little weird. Okay, so yeah, let's try our best to survive this. But luckily, all of the crates that I've missed so far, I haven't been worrying about because I know that the nitro will explode them. All right, I didn't hear anything. We'll save Cortex the embarrassment this time. Whoop, there we go, that wasn't too bad. But I'm just making sure that the crates I do miss are all ones that would be exploded by the nitro. Because I'm sure there's gonna be a nitro. Oh, exploding crate soon. That is such a tough thing to do. Okay, that works. No, it doesn't. That is so tough. They demand a lot from you out of this level. There we go. Once again, I can skip the majority of this. Oh, actually, let me just do that, just to be safe. Ooh, who needs the spring boosts? Okay, a little bit of a race against the clock there, but we made it work. And sort of the same deal here. This time we sort of have to buy our time on these crates. It actually knocked one over though. That could have been bad. So I think we're, oh, what? He didn't bounce off of it. Why? <laughs> Crash, what are you doing? Here we go again. It really isn't that tough. Then we smack that and that's all 175. Thank you very much. Oh, nice moves by Crash there. Flashback complete. So that's another one fully done. I think we're almost halfway through, through with the uh, flashback tapes. So we're chipping through it. Oh man, but there was another dimension done. That was Tranquility Falls. Next episode, we'll be doing Mos Mosquito Marsh, which I it looked like a slightly smaller one. I can only hope, um, but we did a lot of fun things there. We played as Tana, we took on Embryo. We got all sorts of fun stuff. Freaked out for a second that I missed some gems, but no, that's just the new, um, the new gems that, like I said, we'll tackle once we beat the game the first time through. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.